Oh my god. They they throw a lot of nuts. It's like it's a ground unit type of summon, but it shoots projectiles. Like that's a that's a match made in heaven right there. Hey yo everyone, welcome to a whole new playthrough. Now I know it isn't the summoner playthrough you were looking forward to, but I was looking forward to it. We're playing everybody's giant big favorite mod calamity after the big and recent rust and dust update i believe it's called and uh let's get right to it we're doing master mode no nope. we're doing summoner only i've never played calamity by itself and i don't think i've ever done anything summoner wise with calamity too so uh let's get to it let's see if it's possible i'm not playing in death mode or vengeance or any of that i want a nice relaxed playthrough that i can just you know play and have fun because you know the reason why i stopped playing master mode summoner it kind of lost its, its touch once i started having to grind so much and that's like the whole damn playthrough i had to grind uh but i say around the golem duke fish run areas where i kind of lost interest in the summoner playthrough in master mode but don't worry we will finish it i have an idea for it in the future but let's start off with our first summoner weapon here that i know of the squirrel squire staff help me out please because this dude's been chasing me the whole time a uh, very interesting sprite and animation going on here he's kind of like just humping dry humping Pumping the nut. That's a very interesting uh, group of words to put together. But yeah, we got our first one, and that is the Squirrel Squire Staff. It's agile. I feel like we can get a better reforge. Like I said, though, I have no idea what's in store for Calamity Summoner only, even if it's possible. We're about to see, I guess. I have an idea. I just looked at the wiki. I have an idea of a couple of things we can grab early on, mainly the Squirrel and one other weapon being those couple of things. But let's get to it. Mod list will be in the description. You guys should know that. Let, let's get into this playthrough though hopefully i finish this one as i am known for not finishing playthroughs i kind of used to finish playthroughs i used to have a pet peeve with not finishing playthroughs but now you know i'm trying to get more into it not really bro can you kill him any faster god damn i might have to make another one but yeah i think we could get a better squirrel uh reforge so i might try and do that uh our daytime is almost up because i took forever to do an intro my bad hopefully all the audio levels and stuff are good look we got another type of squirrel uh, how come they didn't just go with the like vanilla terrain squirrels I, I don't know but yeah let me go ahead and try and craft a couple of more of these just to see if i can get a better one mythical perfect that is literally perfect everything else we could throw away d summon re summon and we got our mythical squirrel so we're gonna try and find our way to the snow biome because there is a very certain summon we can get from the snow biome uh, i have no idea what first armor set we can get our hands on so i'm just gonna get my hands on some cactus armor i guess you know since we are playing 1.3 i'm able to break cactus very easily so shout out to 1.3 for allowing us to do that what in the heck is this thing wolfram gyrator handle that where are you come over here handle this handle this wolfram gyrator now i think wolfram we might be able to do some stuff with this i think there is a wolf from something but for now cactus armor this is our go-to keep me protected cactus pickaxe sure why not i think it's slightly better or barely better than the copper pickaxe i think it just has regular range which i mean that's that's an upgrade an upgrade is an upgrade oh shoot we found a living wood tree hey maybe we'll find a finch psych even if this was 1.4 we wouldn't find one what is this though they just gave us the goodies for free they gave us the goodies for free i'll take it Okay, I wanted a double jump, but you know, I can't be mad that I just got spike shoes instantly. Boom, ready? How satisfying, what a beautiful noise. Okay, very interesting uh, generation structure here from the mods. Uh, I will bust that open in a second, hold up. Let me get an optimal route to it, there we go. What do we got? We got a worm fang, dang, I can't use it, but still pretty cool. All right, so no snow biome on the first day. It's all good, it's all good. We might have to go into hiding or at least go underground uh, to hide either or, hold up, snow biome, snow biome? I'm hearing metallic noises down here. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. Kill that what the hell is that what are these wolf room machines i may have my first death come from this beast trying to kill me this worm beast where's my squirrel at oh there he is hey i'm gonna need you see these summons are kind of tweaking a little bit i don't know if 1.4 summons are better or not uh but i'm having troubles like just displacing my summon like i, I swear in 1.4 you can just like you know click and then boom your summon will go over there but not this summon this summon has been a little more stubborn now we're down here in the snow biome we're supposed to be above ground but obviously above ground is a little dangerous but what we need from the snow biome let's go ahead let's pop open the recipe browser here put a snow block in here and you see this right here frost blossom staff 
This right here, we need 50 snow, 50 ice, and 5 shiver thorn. Easy. This squirrel actually does like decent damage. I don't know if it's, if it's because it's mythical, but it does some decent damage. I, I think I put this thing over the finch for surely. It's like, it's a ground unit type of summon, but it shoots projectiles. Like that's a, that's a match made in heaven right there. All right, daytime has arrived here and uh, it, got a little, it got a little scary at night. I stored my single piece of gold I had over here in a chest. Where the hell is it? Boom, right there gold chest uh because i was about to die so i said fuck it store my last piece of gold or my only piece of gold so we're gonna go back to the snow biome try and get five shiver thorns and we should be able to make our next summoner piece also our first summoner set which is nice and early unlike vanilla terraria of course we can get our hands on the wolfram summoner set or wolfram helmet i guess uh the rest of the armor is the same but boom right here wolfram helmet plus six percent increased minion damage and plus one minion very nice so hopefully we find some more wolf from enemies uh hopefully we find shiver thorns oh my god this is gonna be bad i don't think i'm gonna survive too long here it's gonna it's gonna be very very tough i'm not gonna lie oh my god thank you for the push maybe that push will be what i need to go further to find what i'm looking for oh my god you know what got me killed there the damn shoe spikes all right i just killed a wolfram drone and it dropped a rover drive it's an equipable activates a protective shield that grants 10 defense for 10 seconds the shield then dissipates and recharges for 20 seconds before being reactivated very nice let's hope that we actually see some uh looks from the accessories that's a big pet peeve i have with the uh, mods they add in all these cool accessories with cool sprites but then you can never notice the accessory on your actual player. It's like, well, what's the point of doing all that and leaving out the best part? And that's the, ex oh, there we go. Ooh, that's cool as shit. Wow, that shield totally protected me. But that's that's one thing I like to see from mods uh, more often is actually having ex accessories that appear on your player. Because if you guys ever played a game like The Binding of Isaac, even, uh, actually, I don't know if the Gungeon does it that often. But in The Binding of Isaac, when you pick up an item, it has a nice, like, passive look on your character. And your character becomes more and more like messed up or they look cooler depending on what items you get and uh, that's something i like to see in terraria all right so i didn't see a single shiver thorn here not even like a little like blossom or a little like bud of it which is uh kind of kind of annoying uh i guess oh shoot we got some wolf rooms though i guess i just walk back and forth until maybe i see a bud or something i do have oh look we got another rover draft i do have a uh, couple of bags herb bags or whatever the fuck they're called just chilling in one of the chests at the starter home we got going on over here whatever the hell you can call this so that might have some stuff i don't know i guess we'll see when we make go back to the house but i i mean on the bright side there's there's wolf room drones everywhere which is kind of helping gold chest number two if it is a cloud in a bottle which is something i would love to have right now i will end the video right now okay of course i should end the video anyways all right so we have eight herb bags and we're gonna see what's popping in them please give me at least one shiver thorn seed okay not a single shiver thorn seed but we did get two shiver thorns which i guess is better than nothing but what the hell they gave me 31 fire blossoms hey aren't these actually used for a summon they might be used for something yeah they are what the heck we're not gonna get that summon for a while but it's better than nothing i guess all right so we have two count them one two shiver thorns growing right here uh, i got a couple more herb bags and that's legit all we got was just two seeds not even more shiver thorn so we're doing it the slow way you know slow but steady we're, we will get our hands on what we want uh but i guess in the meantime i should go look for even more bags in some chests since i have nothing to do while i wait for these to grow hopefully uh, they have the right conditions to grow too I, I don't know all right i found something very interesting down here i'm pretty sure i'm not supposed to touch anything down here for a while we have i believe this is called Dradon's forge maybe i don't know not really in tune with what's been going on with calamity but let's see uh, hopefully this isn't like the modern redemption laboratories and i just get gunned down immediately when i step in okay confusion almost made me walk off right there hello i can't tell what's what but don't hurt me okay so far i'm not able to click on anything looks like all decorations so far it looks really cool though uh i can't really jump that high and i don't want to just start placing things and make it look ugly but you know i gotta do what i gotta do okay what is this still can't touch anything okay this can't touch this either this okay i can touch this oh it's a chest aged security chest i don't know if that's a good thing i'm gonna try my best to dance around this 
bat please squirrel just kill the bat okay so what's in this aged security chest 14 dubious plating 12 mysterious circuitry and a lot of gold there's actually some goodies in here okay can i take the chest i can take the chest i don't want it though it looks cool here uh maybe there's just a bunch of structures like this and this actually isn't really that important aged reinforced crate see i had a feeling that these were crates i had a feeling they just they look like a crate this looks like a crate too no nah, it's just a containment box nothing special about that one. so we can open these oh we can't open them oh that's kind of upsetting but this is really cool this is something i haven't seen from calamity uh definitely some starbound vibes in here yeah let's see what this stuff is for dubious plating oh my god okay there's quite a couple things we can use this for uh a lot of them look like ro 7724 magic damage interesting seeing a lot of the rogue stuff star swallower sounds delicious okay we can't make it for a while but it's good to know holy shit snake eyes pulse turret remote this sounds like there's some cool summoner weapons we get our hands on pole warper see that just sounds weird after years literally a whole entire irl day okay given i didn't play that whole irl day we have our five shiver thorns we have our 30 something what the hell is it 30 something wolfram i think we finally have enough to make some progress in this episode let us start with the armor because that's the most important part my armor is kind of decent though you know i'm not really matching here but it's kind of decent 14 defense but let's get this wolf from armor here we need the energy cores we need the metal scrap boom there's the chest plate boom there's the helmet and boom there is the leggings and last but not least the actual summon itself the wolfram controller boom let's go ahead let's pop this baby on and look at that we ended up with less defense it's all good what is this like what is that you guys see that right why do i have that it's like a cape is that like my character characters regular like cape on them it is what the fuck <laughs> But there you go, we have the Wolfram set, and our set bonus is plus 3 defense, plus 5 when below 50%, not bad. And we got a new summon with this too, so we get one more minion with this, which is very nice. So that means like I could rock the squirrel, and then rock the Wolfram controller. Okay, interesting, it's a flying summon. Already have a lot more variety than regular Terraria. But let's go ahead, let's put them to the test here. Let me do two of them. Let me do two of them. Right, I'm getting my ass beat a little bit, but uh, I'm trying my best here to let them do their work. They kind of fly, so it's a little tougher for them to kill things in a small area like this, but they still got it done. But now let's see what we've been grinding for for real, and that is the Shiver Thorn summon or whatever the hell legit whatever the hell we were grinding for a flower or something someone's a frozen flower over your head yes this thing so we need the ice we need the snow got both of them and boom bada bing frost blossom staff is strong nice don't know if summons are even affected by knockback but nice let's see it so this definitely reminds me of a summon from a mod i don't know which mod but there's a lot of summons that or there's a lot of mods that have summons that are like this you know this summon reminds me of another summon in calamity and that's the sun stuff which it is from calamity i was wondering if it was from calamity or another mod it's from calamity sun spirit staff this is also pretty easy to get so honestly maybe we try and get this and then maybe potentially end the episode off because i don't think we're ready to fight a boss yet uh but i think we're ready to just get our hands on a bunch of variations of summons and then see what we can work with in terms of uh using them on bosses all right we got a vulture to spawn cough up the feathers or don't you think a bird made out of feathers majority made out of feathers would drop a feather a single one at least come on again not even a single one third time's the charm cough up the feathers yes sir desert feather a singular one we need two and then we also need to get a bunch of sand sadly there's no pyramid here i see like one pyramid every 90 playthroughs but then if i'm doing like a creative world like showing off a mod or something then i see a pyramid it's very fun all right this should be our final one i don't know there's a good bit of vultures here so uh, hopefully one drops one more feather but we gotta see what summon combo i want to work with here i am feeling this combo already i think the flower is very nice because it's ranged and it has like a big aoe and i think the drone is nice because it's ranged but the squirrel the squirrel was doing work for me maybe i should just say fuck it and like double squirrels because the squirrels they do work they they throw a lot of nuts and uh those nuts they do some damage let me see like double drones though i guess we already saw double drones but this one isn't too bad they're a little slow i can't lie they're a little slow but they do hit harder than the squirrels but there you go we have enough feathers here 
Uh, now I just need to get my hands on a bunch of sand so we can make sandstone. Boom, bada bing, 50 sandstone bricks and then just the feathers and we can make the sun spirit staff. Again, I believe this one is like the frost blossom uh, as in it stays over our head. Nice. Can we have the frost blossom and the sun spirit though? That's the real question. You can't. That's kind of cool. I mess with that. All right, let's, let's find some enemies then because I want to see how this looks. Then. Here we go. We got an enemy. It's kind of in the house, so it might be harder to hit. Uh, maybe if I go like this. Oh. That, that looked kind of quick. I don't know if the guy got his shot off, but that looked pretty quick of a kill. But at, at this early in the playthrough, am I looking for how quick I can kill something? Or if I'm or am I looking for how cool things look, you know? Oh my god. That's that's pretty quick. I know it's a regular green slime green slime. Let's hit up the corruption and see if you know I just destroy eaters with this combo. Because this this combo might be it. This might be it for moving on the fly. Here we go. Eater spotted. Let's see how fast not bad it's holding the eater back okay i can mess with it it's a good combo but yeah i think for this first episode we're gonna end off here i know we didn't fight a boss yet it's all good as you can see with the stuff we have installed aka calamity aka consolario we have that in here too uh for a couple of extra vanilla bosses we we got some bosses to fight here so we're not too worried about not fighting one in this episode because we got so many more to come but thank you everyone for watching i will hopefully finish this playthrough i don't know we're just at the beginning so i can't promise nothing but yeah I'll, I'll see you guys next time hey follow my twitch because I, I stream on there.